all right welcome back to another video um this is kind of a continuation of the last one that i just posted but i want to make it separate because i don't like to make my videos too long because we as a generation have a short attention span but we're gonna pray to the lord that we get longer attention span so we can spend more time with the lord and just have a longer attention span for the things of the lord so we could just spend more time with him be in more scripture do what he's called us to do and just have a mind like him. All of that good stuff. All of that good stuff. It's good stuff, y'all. It's good stuff. Um, one of the things that the Lord spoke to me, and I wrote it down, is to tell my sons and daughters to come out of the world and be separate. You don't have to put on for the world. He loves you more than you can imagine. Your identity is in Jesus Christ. Like you don't have to go searching for identity nowhere else. It's in God. You don't have to pretend to be someone that you are not. Like y'all, this is, and I feel like all of my messages low key be the same because this is what the Lord, this is what he brought me. This is how he trained me up. What I'm speaking about right now, he has brought me through it like that was me in the world not knowing that God loved me for the real me not knowing that I had to I didn't have to put on for the world not knowing I, was, I didn't know who I was my identity was not in Christ it was in everything else I was pretending to be somebody who I am not and so yeah, that was just the, the the hardest thing for me. This is testimony slash prophesy slash word of the Lord. This this all of it in a bunch because I, I like to give y'all my testimony so y'all know that this, I'm not just talking out. I'm not just talking, bro. Like this, this was a real thing. Like I didn't know who I was. Like I was just letting the world shape me. I was just letting people shape me. But dying on the inside because I know I'm just like, this cannot be it. It's like in my soul, it's like that, that I believe that's God's hand though. He, he didn't he didn't take his hand off of me, but but there's people out there who who oh because listen man, there's people out there who going through this. Like they don't know who they are, bro. Like the world is just shaping us. And for me in particular, it was basketball that I really let shape me. I talk about that a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I'm going to continue to talk about it because when you do it for so long, when you don't know Jesus, it takes your identity. You become somebody who Jesus never created you to be. Yes, the Lord can use basketball. Yes, he used it for my good. But you have to get to a point where you where you know Jesus. Like like he got me to this point so I could tell people who who going through the same thing as me like no Jesus Jesus. So that crying out on the inside that you feel that's like no this isn't me this isn't me like yeah I I I've been through that too like like puffed up by the world awards I talk about that too because that 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 became an idol in my heart. Uh, what men said, like congratulating me and just all of this stuff, y'all. And it's like, no, Jesus is like, no, you're mine. Come over here. Take those clothes off. Put this put this on. And, and this is who you are, Akila. And that's what the Lord wants to do for some of y'all. And I don't know, man. The Lord is just, oh, he's just so good. He's just so good. <laughs> He's so good. And, and we don't have to, we don't got to fake it, bro. We don't have to fake it. And, and I'm just so grateful. I'm grateful that he took the scales off my eyes and, and just showed me what life is about. And not only that, but like my purpose in it and, and why he brought me through certain things. Yeah, the identity, I wrote that down because that's something that the Lord had placed on my heart um, a couple days ago. Um, tell my sons and daughters to come out of the world, like be separate, come out and know that your identity is in Christ, man. We don't have to, we don't have to put on, we don't got to be like the world. We don't have to do the same things that the world do. We, we call to be different. We going to stand out. So that weirdness that you feel that, 
isolation that 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 you know what i'm saying that that whole like oh i'm different from people no it's just because you're called out it's just because jesus christ is your lord and savior it's just because god is your father and he didn't make you to be like everybody he didn't make you to fit in with the world he called you to be out and so yeah i just want to encourage y'all encourage y'all and he, i also wrote down read the book of genesis just just start with the, just start with genesis <laughs> start in genesis like let me give y'all a little testimony when i first I remember, I remember like it was yesterday. I started Bible study. I remember it was like yesterday. I started Bible study. I, I had given my life to the Lord. I asked the Lord to come in my house, my house, my house too. I asked the Lord to come into my heart. Um, I, I, I asked him to forgive me for my sins. I, I, I forgave. I asked the Lord to forgive me and the Lord filled me with his Holy Spirit. And so with that being said, once I got the Holy Spirit, I was able to read the Bible with a different, like, like, like from the first. Oh, Ooh, I'm trying not to cry. Come on, man. I said I would never get teary out on the, uh, on the video. But from the first moment I read, the book of Genesis with the Holy Spirit, it changed my life just from the first, just from the first sentence of in the beginning, Lord created the heaven and the earth. Or is that what it's saying? In the beginning. I just remember reading that for the first time. It just like, it just set, like just that one scripture just set the whole, like, bro, I can't even explain what it did to my mind, bro. I'm going to get this division I'm getting right now. Let's just say, I, I was because I remember this like yesterday, I'm sitting at the table, right? I'm sitting at the table in Portugal. And the Lord, I, I read that first scripture. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. It's like, a, it's like the, the, the bubble that I was in, it like, it went down like this. Shh, like it went down, and then it's like the real bubble came over me. So, however I'm trying to describe that, I hope y'all kind of get what I'm saying, but it's like, in the beginning, God created just from that one thing. It was like, it's like a, it's like something came off. Like something came off of me or came from over me and like something new came about. It's like it opened up and it put something new, bro. Like I, I hope I'm get. I'm trying to articulate what I'm seeing right now, but yeah. Um, and I say that because I've tried to read the Bible with no Holy Spirit. Like I tried to read the Bible without like the Holy Spirit, without asking the Lord to come into my life, without being serious. I tried to read it cause I knew I needed to read it, but I I, I didn't, I, I wasn't understanding the Bible. I didn't understand what, I didn't get it. I'm like, what, what? I'm just flipping. I'm just doing it because I know I need to be doing it, but not doing it with the heart, not doing it with my heart, not doing it desperate, not doing it in need, not doing it like I actually need God, doing it like it's a chore. Like, no, this is my daily bread. <laughs> no, like this is something I need. So yeah, I say that because before you could be trying to read the Bible and you don't understand it, but that's because you haven't asked the Lord, Lord, give me understanding, give me wisdom. I remember those were the first things I was asking the Lord for um, when I was praying to him, like, Lord, give me wisdom, give me knowledge, give me understanding so I can read this Bible so I can know what you're saying to me. And he gave it to me and he's only been increasing it as I asked him. So I know that he's true. I know that he's faithful. And so with that being said, yeah, start in that book of Genesis, man, start in that book of Genesis and the Lord is going to bless you. He's going to bless you. He's going to bless you. He's going to take the scales off. He, he's going to open your mind up to like uh, people call it the matrix yeah he gonna get you out of that matrix like no 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 jesus souls life is temporary <laughs> heaven is our promise like imagine <laughs> oh jesus 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 these like just these four things i named Without these things, God placed these in my mind, right? The promise of heaven, this life is temporary. Souls is what matter. Jesus Christ is my savior. Before that, it was all kind of other stuff. Money, career, cars, um, 
houses, relationships, nice trips, good wine, good drink, good smoke, good sex. It was all that other stuff. And now it's just save souls. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. I need him every single day. Um, What was the other ones? The other four. What was the other ones? Tell me, y'all. What was the other ones? Save souls. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Oh, I forgot the other two, but y'all know the other two. I just can't remember them right now. I don't like when that happens. But you get what I'm saying. It's like Jesus going to, he going to, look, he going to take that stuff off. He going to peel that stuff back. And so that's why he's saying, like, come out of the world so I can show you who I am. Have a little bit of faith in me so I can show you who I am. And that's, that's, he, yeah, he loves us like that. That's why we're here because he loves us. That's why God sent his son to die for us. That man was beaten. They beat him. It was just, think about it. He beating him, beating him. Think about it. He just on a cross. Like, this is for, this is for Akila. This is for so-and-so. This is for so-and-so. This is for so-and-so. This, I, like, ah, just imagine. Ooh. <laughs> like, he on the cross thinking about you. Like, man. <sighs> That's how much he loves us. And so, yeah, you, you don't got to put on with the Lord. Like me, I was putting on. I was being something. I was putting on. Like, God was like, come over here. Take that off, Akila. Like, take that off. That, that's not who you are. You you don't got to pretend to be that. That's not you. Now let's get these de- let's cast these demons out and let, let's let's come on. Let's go. We got work to do. We're we not here longer. Let them know we we not going to be here much longer. And so Yeah, man, the Lord is good. Um The Lord is so good. So yeah, yeah. Just just keep your eyes on God. Focus on Jesus, and and he, he it's a sure thing, man. Come out of the world. He wants us to come out of the world. He wants us to be separate. Live like Him. Live like Him. Ask Him to help us live like Him. Be more like Him. Love like Him. And so, yeah. I uh, just stay tuned for another episode. Remember to repent, seek God. Make sure y'all taking this stuff back to Him. Just asking Him whatever. Like write some notes down. Whatever you gotta do, man. And just go with the Lord. And, and be like, look, Lord, so this is like, just go do it. Just go. Go to him. <laughs> go to him. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Like, y'all, I'm telling y'all, sometimes uh, this, off, this is random, but sometimes I have to play music. Like, get get. I have to get in the spirit just to do the work. Like, before I come on here, I have to get in the the spirit of the Lord. I have to worship. When I get in my closet, I have to worship. Like for me, I don't know if that's for everybody, but I, I I be having to encourage myself in the Lord. I be having to bring that, like get that, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how to explain it, but I, I can see it. <laughs> it's like, I got to get that, get the room, like get the angels in here, get, get the, get the spirit of the Lord moving in here so I can do what he's called me to do. Cause without that y'all, I'm telling y'all, when I spend too much time away from the Lord, it be, it be rough. It be rough. I'm telling y'all. When I when I spend too much time away, I see now. It's like now I can't even look. Hey, the Lord is real. The Lord is real. I don't want to make this video too long, but yeah, come out of the world. Be separate, man. Don't 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 be afraid of that 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 calling. Yes, you're different. Yes, God has called you. Yes, yes, He did. Yes, you're His child. Like, don't deny it. Just ask Him to have grace and mercy. Ask for grace and mercy. Because it's not easy. So, yeah. Uh, I love y'all. I love, 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 love y'all. God is like, love my people, Akila. You got to love my people. You got to love them so much that you tell them the truth. So, I love y'all. And, yeah, just seek the Lord for yourself. Go back to him. Go back to him. Go, like that story in the Bible. I always do this. When I say I'm about to end the video, I keep going. <laughs> like that story in the Bible where... There was 10 men or nine men. And one of the men came back and thanked God. And he was like, go your way. Uh, your, 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 your faithfulness. Have, but it's something. Just be that. Be like, Lord, here I am saying thank you. If ain't nobody else came back, here I am, Lord. Thank you for life. Thank you for my family. Thank you for everything. It may not look how I want it to look. But, Lord, I'm here. I'm, I'm here. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm, I'm here. If nobody else here, I'm here. To lift you up, give you glory, praise you. Thank you, Lord, for life. Thank you. 
Thank you. Enter into the gates with, with, with Thanksgiving, and, Thanksgiving and praise. Maybe it's just Thanksgiving. I don't know. Your girl's still learning, but here I am. Thank you. And I'm still learning God, grace and mercy. Thank you. Like, it's, it's, we can talk to God. We got access to God 24-7. I love y'all. <laughs> Stay tuned for more videos. Seek the Lord, man. Find out your purpose. It's important. It's important because God wants to use you. He wants to use you. He wants to use you. So, yeah, God bless y'all. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all next video.